Hello students today we are going to begin with the poem why i am not a painter by the poet frank o'hara uh, you please give a read about the poet frank o'hara about whom is already given at the top of page number 36 so students at the very first i want to give you an overview of the poem why i am not a painter I want to give you a short explanation regarding uh, what has been deeply mentioned or what has been reflected by the poet O'Hara through the poem. Okay, so students, Frank O'Hara mentions two characters in the poem. As you can see in the picture, there are two characters, right? So, uh, friends O'Hara mentions two characters in the poem. One is Mike Goldberg. who is poet's friend as well as a painter and the another character mentioned by the poet is the poet himself that is frank o'hara himself so this poem revolves around two persons the painter mike goldberg and the poet that is the poet himself so this poem revolves around two persons a painter and a poet and it revolves around their works now students we need to understand who is a painter and who we call a poet as well as what is a painting and what on uh, on the other hand is a poetry or a poem we need to understand these concepts well before reading the poem uh, this will help us understand the poem very well okay so there are several differences uh, between two art forms yet there are similarities between them as well such as all of us think or believe right that poetry and painting are different art forms these two art forms are different we all believe that right but they have similarities as well as which has been mentioned in the poem so uh, that is why i am just giving an overview uh, two art forms like poetry and painting can also have similarities as well so this poem why i am not a painter uh, through this poem the poet frank o'hara wants to show us the similarities between two art forms which are poetry and painting okay he wants to show us uh, the differences uh, not the differences uh, there are differences between poetry and painting yet there are simil there are uh, some similarities between them as well so uh, in this poem uh, why i am not a painter through this poem the poet frank o'hara wants to show us the similarities between two art forms uh, between poetry and painting even though they are considered to be different from each other now let's think students that how poetry and a painting are different or how are these two art forms different from each other so students a painter is one who creates his art or who creates his painting with paint right and visual imagery means which we can directly see once he paints it once he paints his painting we can directly see what he is expressing through the painting right and get to know that okay this is something the painter wants to express through his or her painting so in this poem the painter is mike goldberg now students on the other hand a poet is one who creates his art with words right who writes a poet writes and expresses his or her thoughts through his or her writings through whatever he or she writes so here in this poem the poet is frank o'hara himself who mentions himself as a poet within the poem so students we got to know that both the art forms which are poetry and painting are different from each other right but what is most important and what is reflected through the given poem why i am not a painter is the similarity between both 
a uh, poetry and painting we have already learned that how poetry and painting uh, are different how these two art forms are different now what is most important for us to understand and what this poem want to what uh, what, what frank o'hara wants to show us through this poem through the given poem why i am not a painter is the similarity between poetry and painting is the similarity between these two art forms he wants to show us this poem reflects the idea uh, that two art forms can be similar in some ways. A poetry and painting can be similar in some ways. So, this similarity is that both poetry and painting are valid expressions of the creative mind, which means both poetry and a painting uh, come out of creative minds. A person paints a picture out of his creativity, right, through his or her creativity. And uh, a person writes a poem also with the help of his or her creative mind. So, uh, both poetry and painting come out of creative minds. Again, another similarity between poetry and painting is the process of creating them. So another similarity uh, is uh, in the uh, is another similarity between a poetry and uh, and a painting uh, can be seen in the process of creating them. So both poetry and painting needs a process to be completed, right? Both the painter and the poet follows a process in creating their work or creating their art, right? The painter at first creates something in, in his or her mind, then paints it and if he or she finds something which can be changed, they change it and after a point of time, a painter creates a uh, creates a painting creates a whole painting so that is a painter's process of painting something right so similarly a writer or a poet also needs to create or uh, think about something in mind uh, at the very first he uh, a poet or a writer needs to think of something at the very first uh, and uh, and uh, once he once he or she thinks uh, thinks about something uh, once he he, ha he or she um, th uh, thinks about something thinks about uh, uh, thinks about something or they uh, form an idea in their minds about something uh, they keep writing okay the poet or the writer keeps writing until it finishes and ultimately, after a point of time, the poet creates a poem, right? So, it is the poet's process of creating a poem. So, these are the similarities between a poem and a painting. These two are different art forms. Poetry and painting are different art forms. But yet, they have some similarities. So students, in this poem, Why I Am Not a Painter, the poet Frank O'Hara wants, uh, wants to show us the similarities between these two art forms, that is, between poetry and painting. So now, students, let's discuss a little about the poem, Why I Am Not a Painter. Let's discuss... Uh, what can be inside the poem what can be there inside the poem let's discuss about that okay so in the poem students the poet frank o'hara highlights or shows the similarities of the two processes of uh, creating a poetry and a painting he wants to show us the processes how a painting uh, is made and how a poetry is composed okay he wants to show us the processes of creating them in the first stanza uh, Frank O'Hara shows the process of painting which is used by his painter friend Mike Goldberg and in the second stanza O'Hara shows us the process of creating poetry okay which is used by the poet himself 
and in both these stanzas we can see the same creative impulse of the painter Mike Goldberg as well as of the poet Frank O'Hara. Both these in both these stanzas, uh, there are processes. The processes used by uh, the painter and the poet are similar in some ways, right? So let's see how these things are similar. How their processes of uh, creating their work of art are similar. Uh, they. Uh, uh, they 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 have the same creative impulse uh, we can see the same creative impulse of uh, both the painter and the poet means in both these stanzas we can find a similarity in the processes used by them to create their art or uh, to create their poetry and painting both of them expresses their thoughts or creativity in two different things the painter paints at his easel or the canvas right and similarly the poet expresses or uh, writes on a paper or maybe at his typewriter so the poem uh, in the poem uh, sorry so uh, O'Hara Frank O'Hara writes a poem towards the end of the given poem okay means a poem within a poem right so this is something interesting so the poem ohara writes towards the end of the given poem is oranges the name of the poem which he writes which he composes uh, inside the given poem why i am not a painter um, is oranges is named oranges okay uh, we will further uh, know about it why why we start uh, reading the poem um, towards the end he writes a poem named oranges so he thinks of the color orange one day and is inspired by that orange color this happens towards the end as i have already said but what happens at the very first was that a uh, look at the first stanza was that O'Hara first sees his friend Mike Goldberg's half-made painting or we can say Mike Goldberg was just about to start the painting and uh, it had the painting had the word sardines s-a-r-d-i-n-e-s -E the painting had the word sardines in it sardines means uh, small fishes small fishes okay so O'Hara first sees it but later when he saw the final painting made by his friend Mike Goldberg there were no sardines in it there was not an image of sardines drawn on it but only letters were there means the painter covered the word sardines uh, which he wrote earlier he covered the word s a r d i n e s he covered the word with colors and the painting was finally named as sardines even though it did not have any drawing or an image of the sardines right but the painting was named sardines so the painter mike goldberg was inspired from that single word sardines he was inspired from that single word s-a-r-d-i-n-e-s -E sardines so that was so uh, this was the process uh, mike goldberg the painter mike goldberg used uh, while he was painting uh, while he was painting while he was creating his uh, painting so similarly the poem oranges the poem named oranges which was written by the poet uh, frank o'hara towards the end also followed the same process o'hara uh, followed followed the same process while he was uh, composing the poem uh, oranges okay now how did he write that how did he compose that let's see he also thought of the word orange at first just like uh, Mike Goldberg, the painter, thought of the word sardines at the very first before uh, creating his uh, painting, just like that, now uh, uh, the poet Frank O'Hara also thought about the word orange. He also had that particular word in his mind. He had that color in his mind and uh, he started writing about it. And finally, he wrote 12 poems continuously he kept 
uh, writing continuously and finally he wrote 12 poems and named this collection of his poems as oranges o r a n g e s but he did not mention the word orange in any of his poem okay he wrote all the 12 poems thinking about that color uh, thinking about that word or orange o r a n g e but did not mention the word orange o r a n g e directly he did not mention the word orange directly in any of his 12 poems so uh, the students both the poet and the painter are inspired by a particular word right the painter mike goldberg was inspired by the word sardines s-a-r-d-i-n-e-s -E and the poet frank o'hara was inspired by the word orange even though these two words um, which inspired them are not mentioned in their final works or in their finished work they did not mention these words in their final uh, work so though they were inspired by uh, two particular words frank o'hara seems to show in this poem that a work of art whether it is a poem or a painting this work of these works of art take time and it takes takes effort of the people who create uh, who create it so students this is something interesting that the whole poem is just a game of words and images look the painting made by mike Gold, uh, mike goldberg which was uh, finally named as sardines okay that this painting gives us an image of sardines even though there was no sardines drawn on it the name itself gives us the idea the name sardines s-a-r-d-i-n-e-s itself gives us the idea of the image that okay this is a painting which is related to sardines which gives us the idea of sardines even though nothing like that was drawn on it but the name of the painting which is sardines itself gives us an image of what must be there in the painting or uh, what must be the painter mike goldberg wants to tell us so the name of the painting sardines itself uh, shows us itself gives us an image in our minds uh, an image in our minds uh, through which we get to know that okay this name uh, reflects this image but we cannot see the image directly in the canvas directly in his painting but the name sardines itself gives us an idea or an image of uh, what should be what must be there in the painting or what must be the painter mike goldberg wants to tell us through that painting right so similarly the poems written by O'Hara about the orange color gives us an idea of the word about what about which uh, he was thinking or uh, the thought he had in his mind while writing the poem right he was inspired by the word orange he had that orange word in his mind uh, uh, while he was writing about it but he did not mention the word orange directly he did not mention the word o r n a n g e orange uh, directly in any of his poems but his poems reflect uh, the idea the poet must have had in his mind at that point of time when he was writing about it right even though we cannot uh, see the exact word that is orange uh, inside his poems still we get to know that he was thinking of the word orange he must be thinking of the uh, he must have been thinking of the word orange while he was writing the uh, poems or he was thinking of the orange color we get to know this uh, when we read his uh, poems so the poet ohara converted the image of orange color into words or letters right he had that image of orange color in his mind and then uh, he uh, converted that color converted that image into words or letters and he wrote that down wrote it down right 
and similarly the painter mike goldberg also converted the idea of the word sardines into an image which the viewers can interpret on their own so the name which was uh, given to the painting of mike goldberg that was sardines so the painter also uh, through the word sardines he also uh, converted the idea of the word sardines into an image which the people uh, viewing the painting can interpret on their own can think of their own okay that uh, that okay this name uh, reflects this painting right they cannot see direct they cannot directly see the sardines in it but they can uh, uh, they can imagine uh, they can imagine uh, what uh, the poet must have uh, reflected through the painting even though there was no there were there was no sardines drawn in drawn on that okay so students i hope you read uh, i hope you understand the uh, overview of the uh, poem and in um, if you uh, if you have any difficulty please go through the poem once and i will begin reading and um, reading and explaining the poem in the next session